Right, boys, we're off to Mexico. Off on our holly bobs across the very thin river with Irish via ferry. And we can go to our destination of wherever the fuck Bill Williamson and Javier are hiding from us. And we can enact our revenge for the betrayal of ourselves and Arthur Morgan. And get the Pinkertons off our own back at the same time. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. Why are you here? <laughs> Ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. Can I take my horse? I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> what the hell is Peking? Well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Cheerio. Hope to never see you again. Right. No boats, just literally a raft. Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Whoa. Well, Wait, what? Now. Oh. Look out, bandits! Why? Too many of them. Cut the rope. We'll drift down river. Get yeah, move. Move your head. Guess I got up to more mischief than I remember on me last visit. We'll ride the river out. No point trying to land till we're well away. Palmo, you got the wrong man. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box at the back of the raft. I'm good. I don't need any. I don't think. Oh my God, no. Why would they ambush us while we're still on the river? Why not wait until we've crossed? Right. Would that not be better? Like, I'm guessing these people have been employed by Javier and Bill, right? Welcome to Mexico, Johnny boy! Makes Austin look like Buckingham Palace! Not just, like, random people out to rob us. You really want to die, friend? What the hell is that up there? Am I shooting the, the fence? Is that like Mexico's version of Fort Mercer? Maybe. Where do we stop? Here? Bloody Nara! I want that money <laughs> I feel like he jumped before I blew up the barrels, no? I kind of felt like he was already like in the air before they exploded. Look left, on top of the cliff. Ah! <laughs> 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 
on to the next one, on to the next this one. This ain't exactly the reception I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. I hate to disturb you there, Marston, but could you kill a couple of these bastards? Are you kidding me? Coming from the guy who's like, never shooting anybody. Always turning up late. Fucking stupid ass horses. Why are they running off the cliff? They're like the bloody cows from before. Where was that ammo? Is this it? Is that is that the ammo? I think maybe I already picked it up. Okay, are they are they all gone? Is that everyone? This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. These are your they friends? Know. At least the lassies do. Oh, the big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, oh, that porky? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williams. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato, the cat. On account of myself and cunning. Is that what that means? Pretty sure Ratto means rat, my yeah. friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? You insulting me? I'll push you off. I'll push you off. How long are we, we going to float down the whole length of the river? Shite! There's more fools behind that rock! Your friends suck, El Rato. That's better. I haven't stepped foot in this country, and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will really insist on patronizing with a notorious Irish outlaw. You must be taking a lot of You must have a real bad. Jesus! Those weren't Molotovs, I think it was throwing dynamite. Watch it, up that cliff! They're shooting down on us! Two bullets left of the rifle. Yep. So yeah, I feel like he was already halfway in the air again, right? <laughs> Maybe there's like an initial shockwave before like the explosives hit you. What's the word for cunt in Spanish? El Canto. You tell me. You must have been called it a few times. <laughs> Okay, no more of this gun. What the hell is a Springfield rifle? Oh my god. This cover sucks so much. So much for your damn connections, Irish. 
I told you they knew me in Mexico, didn't I? Have I always had this gun? Was this the first rifle I had? I, th I thought it was a carbine, right? Have a look at that. I'm a bit confused. Yeah, this is a new gun. What the hell is this? So more power, more range. But less of a uh, rate of fire, obviously, because it seems like it's like bolt action, right? And less ammo capacity. It is actually faster to reload. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so that, that was the gun I was talking about, right? That's the first gun I had repeat a carbine in the Springfield. What's this? All right, there's shotguns. Do I have any new pistols? I don't do I know. I still haven't been to like a, a shop or something. I don't know if you need to. Right, if you keep picking these guns up. I'll miss these escapades, Johnny boy, I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. I see that. The current should put us ashore up ahead. Well, oh, how convenient. These two horses waiting here for us. Don't make me kill so that's the downside of this rifle, only four blitz. We made it, thank the Lord. I'm very glad to be getting out of that boat in death pack. Only four shots in dead eye. <laughs> These horses look fresher! <laughs> Whoop! And healthy! <laughs> What's Before the you fuck? These poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here. Aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, uh, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy! <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based on Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Or was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. You're fucking hopeless. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. Yeah, get out of here. You're an angry and a back ugly man. But not a bad one. <laughs> so I got a new horse then, I guess, right? Right? No? Can I call my horse? I don't think so. Yeah, this is different horse. Faster and stronger than normal. I don't know what my stallion was before. I don't know if that was a war horse as well, right? I don't think it has. Who, who cares? Like I said, I'm going to name them all Billy. Like I did with like, um, like uh, the Witcher does, right? Geralt does with his horses. Just calls them all Roach. Saves me thinking of new names all the time. And Irish is allowing me to stay at his place, apparently, if I ever want to save the game. Not quite sure where that is. So, one of these places, or people, he suggested talk to his land and rickets. Maybe that's the colonel? Right, he said there was a colonel. D, the centre. No idea who that is. Yeah, there's uh, Irish's shack, I guess. Let's go to this place then. Chaparosa? So, this is what I remember. One of these, like, um, journeys, right, of music planned. I thought it was me entering Mexico. I guess it kind of is, right? But I've already crossed the river. Pretty much just looks the same, if I'm being honest, as New Austin. <laughs> Actually, yeah, maybe a bit more green, right? A bit more shrubbery. A shrubbery! But I mean, mostly both of these maps. Well, I mean, I guess it's the same map, just two different locations, right? They're big, just big empty areas, really, aren't they? So it's, it's nothing like for Dead 2's maps. Nowhere near as like populated or living, right? 
I mean, other than like um, Armadillo, right? In the uh, New Austin, there wasn't really anywhere else, right? Thieves Landing, like Tumbleweed was dead, right? There was a couple of like little tiny outposts and places, but there were no like actual towns, really, is there? None of them were a strawberry, for example. Put it that way. Okay. I guess this is the place I'm heading to. El Chaposa, or, or whatever the fuck. Looks like saying out like the Three Amigos, right? <laughs> oh, straight up mission. When a stranger comes to town. Hey, gringo! Hablas español? No, sir. Sprechen Deutsch. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. <laughs> hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. shit. <laughs> okay, but I have not amigo, said any of that, have I? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? You want to find out? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries? Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, holy Gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> That's my hat. Oh, you are so funny. Funny man. Can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Shoot them, John. Take off the boots, americano. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful not to shoot my hat. As you wish. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my hat back. Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. You've been sarcastic. What a great way to improve border mm -hmm. relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> they started it. Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> A socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. How many things? Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? Sloppy? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <sighs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American. Wonderful. Just wonderful. I guess this is Landon Ricketts? Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? Jim Milton. No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. 
I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come well, on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Okay. Now that's a real gun. Nice. I can, uh, I can tag now. Nice. Ah, uh, so much better. So much better. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Come on. I've got another idea. Okay. Fuck. Uh, sorry, I gotta get rid of the mark on my map. It really annoys me. <laughs> Around here, always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than. One Holy shit! Time. Those are some big ass birds. Oh, tag. <laughs> so used to doing it automatic. Nicely done, sir. You've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do, sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? Ay, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, Senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. Rode with Dutch? What do you mean? Pretty sure Easy he would claim now. that he was a savior, right? Whether he was or not. There's another question. Come on. Oops. <laughs> <Easy>. <laughs> they could start in it. Just face plant into a wall. Good job he didn't see me. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm too far behind. You need to speak up. Let's go. Oh God, he's really fucking going for it. This is a new horse, you know. We've not established a bond yet to be going so fast. Ooh. Okay. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right. Come on. The bandits have hostage. Keep your distance and use dead eye to take them out. Uh, I. Mm, is that him? The can <laughs> Did I hit hostage? No. I think I got him. I mean, he's not dead anyway, right? So. Keep your eyes peeled. These bandits don't give up easily. Come on. Yeah. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Ricketts partner, young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard as a boy were true, you know. Uh. Mire, senor! Hay muchos de ellos! 
I thought those were people. No? So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Damn right they don't, my sarcastic little apprentice. <laughs> Aren't we a couple of sarcastic twats? How are you, miss? Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Okay, good boy. Okay, dead, yeah, dead eye level, level of three. Three of three. Landon Ricketts is still here. It looks like he's now playing poker. Playing poker. Should we go say hello? Uh, 